Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, open up an alert dialogue. An alert dialogue basically informs the user about situations that require, you know, acknowledgement, especially some immediate attention. And to implement it, really simple. If you know how to implement a simple dialogue, a lot of this will feel very natural. But we're going to go over all of it anyway. We need to create a future. And going to void. And we are going to say, we're just going to say, open alert again you probably want to name this a bit more contextually but we are going to just call it open alert i'm going to it's asynchronous so we need the async command and i'm going to have curly braces and this is going to return a show dialog show dialog semicolon and here we're going to have context context then we're going to have barrier dismissible. I'm going to select make this the a false, it's true or false. This means the user must tap the button. And we're going to say builder. And this is where we essentially build what it's going to look like. Builder context. Context. Curly braces. And in here we are going to return an alert dialog. We need a title, and the title is going to well, obviously we're gonna it's gonna be a text. But what can we say the title is? We're gonna say, "Do you want to quit? Do you want to watch this?" We're gonna say, "Phone alert." Now, one of the alerts that I uh, that I got on my iPhone was I think I only got it once, and it was when it got too hot, and it wasn't even that like. The, the day was in hard wasn't even using it a lot. It was just out of the ordinary. And you just put, you know, now you essentially put your content. And for this, you can essentially, you know, put quite a lot of stuff. You can put like text, whatever you want. I'm going to put a single child scroll view so we can add quite a bit of information. Here, I'm going to add a child of list body. But again, you can customize it the way you want to. And now in here we're gonna have a children and it's gonna be an array of widgets. Again, customize it however you want. You can have icons, images, bomb kit is simple with this. And I'm gonna say your phone is too hot. Put it in water. Okay, so now we're all done with this part, and what we need to do, we can add a comma here, add a comma here, and let me have a look, let me have a look, Ooh. that goes there, so we need a semicolon, but after the single child view, we're going to have some actions, so we're going to say actions, this is going to be a widget, and I'm just going to add a flat button, Again, you can customize it and add whatever you want, but the flat button will look good with this. And ultimately, that's what it's all about making the application look nice but also functional. And I'm gonna say, can you, for example, I'm gonna say, I'm pressed. And this could call a separate method, but I'm just gonna do it inline navigator dot of. Context got pop. So this will just close the dialog. Um, no, yeah, we're ready to essentially run it. So we can't run it yet. Or we can. So if we, if we were to hot reload it, this is what we get. Nothing. Because we need something to trigger it. So here, I'm going to add a child of icon button. But you could have any sort of child that has some sort of event that can be triggered like an on press or on change. And that could call it. But I'm just going to have an icon. Oops, don't want that there. Icon, icon, icons. So feel free to check out the icon button and the icon video for more information. And I'm gonna say the one for alert. Add alert. That's the closest, I guess. We'll get. And I'm gonna say on press. So once this is pressed, I'm gonna say open alert. Semicolon. Save it. The icon pops up there click it and we get this 
phone alert, your phone is too hot, put it in water, continue. So we can't click off it because we put not in dismiss dismissible. So that means we have to select this, essentially we're acknowledging it. And or instead of saying continue, you'll say, I understand something like that where you are essentially acknowledging what this is saying but that's it that's really all the alert dialogue does it provides the user some information especially once it's really important just overrides everything else and you know it forces the user to you know, look at it especially if you put is you know if you put the dismissible as false you're essentially saying i understand this could be telling the conditions for example for an application maybe the first time you've installed an application and you're popping up a little alert dialogue saying these are the terms and conditions and obviously this could be a scroll view you could have loads of information here if you want to scroll that's up to them you can say i understand and you could potentially have another button you could because this is an array i want to do that as an extra task have another button and just print that saying close application or look for the code to close the application so that way they have to agree to the terms and conditions and that's really it for the alert dialogue if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.